So just a summary of that part, cholesterol is good. So cholesterol itself is not a reason to worry. LDL is normally good. LDL on its own is not reason to worry. But modified LDL is bad, whether that's small or dense or glycated or oxidised. Now before I want to finish, there are other ways we can modify LDL. And one is this protein called lipoprotein little a. And it's a form of LDL which has got this long tail wrapped around it called apo little a. It's LDL with a tail on it. Once it gets that tail on it, it tends to hang around in the blood longer. I don't know whether it becomes small and dense because of that. But we do know that LP little a, the higher LP little a is, the more likely we are to have a cardiovascular event. Now, LP little a is very difficult to change. Uh, we don't have medic medication that can change it. I'm not sure what LCHF diets do to it. And there are some patients, about one third of the patients, who have this exaggerated rise of cholesterol on LCHF, they've got LP little a present. And so we need to have a close look at those patients. So uh, that's the first test I do if people get an exaggerated response of cholesterol on LCHF is to check the LP little a, because it may be a different form of it. LDL that's accumulating rather than small dense and so on. Now the other thing which is quite um, interesting and exciting is that third protein in the LDL receptor called PCSK9. What normally happens is LDL combines to the receptor on the hepatocyte and then it's taken in by the cell and taken in and destroyed if you like but the LDL receptor goes back out to catch some more LDL and bring it back. You know, we want to bring it all back after a week or two but what PCSK9 does is it tags LDL and the receptor and says, when you absorb it, destroy the LDL and destroy the receptor as well. Now that's a bit harmful because if you lose all your receptors, the LDL is not going to be able to come back easily. So patients with high levels of PCSK9 have high levels of cholesterol. So here's this graph about PCSK9 levels in blood vary from about 100 to 500, huge variations across the population. And the level largely determines how much LDL you've got in your blood. But more importantly, if you're taking off your receptors and the LDL's hanging around in the blood, it's going to become small and dense. So again, I imagine that many patients it's about 5% of patients on LCHF have this exaggerated response to the L LCHF diet. And I think that this explains some of them as well. And we need to know, the important thing is, is it small and dense? Because this, this PCA-CSK9 polymorphism can cause small dense LDL as well. And we don't know what prevalence it is in the population, let alone amongst LCHFs. So, when should we worry about cholesterol? We shouldn't worry about cholesterol. We should only worry about whether we've got modified LDL. We know how to reduce most of those forms. We can get rid of small dense LDL, glycated LDL, and probably oxidized LDL by just going to LCHF diets. We need to learn a bit more about what LPDLA and PCSK9 does on LCHF diets. 